Hi, uh, this is lesson number 06. Uh, uh, here I will show you how to use OpenGL in Java and we will uh, discuss how to rotate texture. So let's open Eclipse. In uh, previous lesson number 05, uh, we created a cube and assigned uh, texture to each uh, polygon. So you can see that uh, all polygons has been assigned with this uh, with the same texture. So let's begin lesson number 06. Let's create a new package. It will be new Java package with name lesson 06. So after that, we need to copy these two files from lesson number 05, copy and paste them to lesson number 06. So after that, we can check and we will see that uh, app.java is now in lesson 06 and uh, app.java also is in uh, lesson 06. Uh, what we need to do now and uh, is uh, to make some modifications in our engine, in our app.root Java class. So, uh, for example, what uh, we want, what we can do is to rotate a texture uh, on the front side of uh, uh, the cube. So let's see, let's see what is now. You see that the uh, image of Garfield is uh, positioned correctly, but uh, for example, what we need to do if I would like to rotate it uh, <coughs> to, uh, 90 degrees to the right. Uh, let me show you how we can do this. We need to change this, so I will copy this and paste below. After that, I will command this origin code and make some modifications. So let's check uh, points. Mm. This is point number one, this is number two, three, and four. Uh, they all mm, mm, uh, create a polygon in the front. So first point is uh, minus, minus, and one. Mm. Second has uh, coordinates uh, one, uh, minus one, and one. Uh, third has one, one, and one, and uh, last has minus one, one, and one. So, uh, let me show you in a uh, paint how it will be. Let's take a look into 3D space. So, this is axis X, this is axis Y, this is axis Z, uh, and we need to draw a cube. Okay. So this is our cube. So uh, let's talk about uh, this front polygon. So first uh, point has coordinates minus one, minus one, and one. Second point has coordinates one, minus one, and one. Is it so? Let's check. One, minus one, and one. 
Second has, uh, third has coordinates 1, 1, and 1. This is point number 1, 1, and 1. And fourth point has coordinates uh, minus 1, 1, and 1. Here is minus 1 for x, 1 for y, and y, 1 for z. So you see. So uh, then uh, we assign a texture. Uh, you can see that uh, first point uh, with index e uh, equal to uh, 0 has <coughs> uh, coordinates uh, 0 and 0. What are these coordinates? Uh, our texture is two-dimensional because we specified here text 2D and it, uh, it is an image. Uh, and uh, uh, our texture is an image. So, for example, mm, uh, this is our image <coughs> with a Garfield with a cat on it, and uh, its uh, bottom left coordinate is zero zero. After uh, and its uh, top right coordinate is zero uh, one one. This is a one, e, one for x and zero for, for y, and this is zero for x and one for y. So after that, here's a Garfield, here's a cat, here's a cat with legs, okay, uh, and with arms, yeah. So we assign this texture to our front side. So uh, point now point this point is assigned here. This point is assigned here. This point is assigned here. And this directs to here. Uh, okay, so first of all, we draw a vertex number uh, with coordinates uh, minus 1, minus 1, and 1, after that with 1, minus 1, and uh, so on. So uh, what, uh, and uh, uh, when we assign the uh, a texture uh, for index number 0, for first point in the bottom left side with coordinates minus 1 and 1, we use 0 and 0. Yeah, you'll see 0 and 0. For next one, we use 1 and 0. This is a 1 and 0. Let me show. Excuse me. After that, we use 1 and 1. This and assign it to here. And after that, we use 0 and 1. 0 and 1 and assign it here. So what we need to do, what do we need really if we want to uh, rotate our um, image? So image will be like this. It will be head, arms, legs, another arm, and a head, yeah? something like that. So we rotate our figure to the right. Excuse me. Like this. Okay. So we, what we do, we need to do. Uh, so this point, this point is 0 and 0, 0 and 0, yeah? This point is 0 and 1, 0 and 1. This point is 1 and 1, and this point is 1 and 0, 1 and 0. So something like, something like this. Uh, 
look like this. Okay, we rotated our picture. So, for uh, the bottom left, a point, now we will use a coordinate like uh, equals to 1 and 0. Let's use a black color. Oh, yes, let's use a black color for it. So, uh, this point will be uh, 1 and 0, and this point, oh my god, I use this point, let me use another colors. So this point will be 1 and 0, and this point will be 0 and 0, and so on. So this will be 0 and 1, and this uh, bottom right will be 1 and 1. So let's change this. So first of all, we use 1 and 0. Let's write here 1 and 0. After that, we need uh, use for this second point, we need to use 1 and 1. 1 and 1. For this third point, we need to use a 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And for the fourth point, we need to use 0 and 0. For better understanding, I will uh, write here the point numbers, point indexes. So this is the first point. No, it is better to say that it is a zero point. Zero point, one point, it's an index, really, second and third point. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, and we use here 0, 1, 2, 3. Yeah? And here, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So, all of this really create, creates a polygon with its texture. So, let's see how it works. So we have changed it. Let's close in our task manager all additional Java processes. I think so, there are a lot of them. Sometimes it happens. So, okay, and now let's rerun this application. You see now that our front uh, texture uh, is rotated to the right, yeah? Okay? And you also see that our top uh, texture is also rotated to the right. Why is it so? Because we use this rotation for all our sides. You see, yeah? Because counter after it uh, reaches uh, uh, to equals to 3, uh, uh, it uh, has been assigned with a zero. So in this cycle, for each uh, for each side, we use the same algorithm, and so we rotate our texture to the right. And you see this, yeah. So it is so. So if we now are, let's rerun it again. 
here and if we revert back revert back our changes you will see that Garfield will be uh, will be positioned the right way okay so this is code for lesson number 06 uh, so what you need to understand is that uh, in all texture its bottom left position has its own coordinates equals to 0 and 0 and these coordinates are not the same as for a cube because cube has its world coordinates but when we are talking about a texture and its own uh, coordinates uh, we speak about uh, UV coordinate what is UV is this coordinate is inside this texture so that is why the bottom bottom left uh, side, uh, point has a coordinate zero. 0 and 0 and the top right uh, point has the coordinates 1 and 1. After that uh, we uh, assign with uh, with our function text uh, with gel sorry function text coordinate to D. For each index we uh, assign uh, which we say which uh, coordinates to use. So if this is a point number 0 we use coordinates uh, 1 and 0. And for the next point, we use coordinates 1 and 1. So uh, we, uh, using uh, this uh, different assignment, we can rotate our uh, picture. So uh, this is really very simple. Okay, you can ask me questions and uh, join Facebook groups slash learandi. So you can write emails to jellyarandi.gmail.com or learandi mail room. But it is better to join Facebook. Also, you can visit the uh, website learandi.com. Thank you. And in the second uh, lesson, I will show you uh, how uh, to uh, make our engine more powerful, uh, how to make our... Uh, uh, polygons transparent so we can see one polygon uh, through another so have fun bye